Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. Today we are going to learn Node.js authentication with PostgreSQL, TypeORM and the Express. These all are the things in the TypeScript. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So let's go with the demo first. So here I'm going to create a new account with the auth register. Okay, so here we require the email password and the username let's add the email password then the username so here i'm going to add my username here like something like this let's hit this one user is successfully let's go to the our pg admin and let's check this one the rows so here you can see that this is added over here right let's try to log in with this account so here i need to just pass the login and we require use email and the password okay so let me delete this one and here also and if i go to send over here you will receive a token over here right so let's copy this token and add this into our user info profile right so let's add it over here right this is done let's going to try to send this record and here you can see that user id and this one you will get retrieved to that user information very easily okay so let's dive into the code level and check which packages we have installed what is the scenario of doing this one let's have a look on that one so here i'm using the typescript for that one so here we have the ts config file okay so first in this here is this is source module first we have to create orm config.json then we have a tsconfig.json file so if i go to the tsconfig.json file here we go with this one you have to create this file after this we have to go with the orm config.json file so here we have to add the type host port username password database synchronize login entities you, you want to use that all the entities are in my models migrations you want to run cli you want so you can add it accordingly okay so this is orm config for the connection with the postgres okay next we have to go with the source then we have to create a folder model source create a source folder then models folder then user.ts here we have an entity with the id username email and the password <coughs> okay create this one <coughs> after this go and create the auth route.ts file Okay, so this is a very long file. So we will discuss later. First, we discuss with the last file that is index. So here we are ex using the express type ORM auth routes we on from the auth route section. And here the API endpoint is to be auth auth routes on which port it should be listened. And here and it is listened to the that port. If something goes wrong, then it will go with the error connecting to the database. Okay, so let's go to the auth route.ts file first of all let's go and check which packages we have installed so this is the commands that i have run so first make directory node.js type orm then cd node.js type orm then npm init y okay then open the code and then you need to install all of this npm packages okay then you have to install npm i save dev types by by crypt then you have to add the types json web token okay after this we have to run the project okay with the help of the ts node here you can see ts node source index.ts i'm running this one okay so let's go to the auth route.ts file where we have the main file right so here we have a express request and the response from the express get repository from the type orm user from the models and the bike crypt and the json web token okay for the jwt here we are using the express router here we have the secret key so you i have added the secret key over here okay first one that is a register so we require username email and the password okay then we are going to hash the password with the help of the bike crypt right create a new user with the help of the username email and the password okay hash password then await and save that user into the db if it is done then message users registered successfully if wrong then it will go to the error registering the user and the server error 
Moving to the next step, then we have a post login API. So this is a post login API. So we require the email and the password. Okay. So first we will check where email record email is exist in our DB or not. If not, it will go with the invalid credentials. If yes, then check the password. If the password, whatever they have entered previously is matched with the current password or not, then we are going to compare the password. If not matched, then we will return that password not matched or invalid credentials. Okay. Next, then we have to go and just return the, on the behalf of user ID, we, we are going to return the user ID and on the behalf of the token, this is, you can see the secret. Okay. So sign that with the user ID, email and the password sign this token and return that token and token expires in one hour okay so by login you can see that we just receive the token okay if something goes wrong it will go to the cache block and return the respective error okay now after that we have to uh, we have a user info api where we are authentic authenticate that user token whether it's to be a valid returning the user or not, how this is go with the this one protected route we have created. So here in the get user info verify token, this is the middleware which we have created above. You can see that. Okay. So middleware to verify the JWT token request response and the next. Then here we are getting the authorization token. If the token is not there, then SS denied. If it, if it is token is there then we have to verify that token with the secret and return the request dot body dot user okay decoded format right if something goes wrong and the token is wrong then it is to be invalid token how i will show you if i go and just write something else in the between of that ones and you can say that the invalid token right so this is that one okay so next we are going to go with the verify token first in the request body dot user here you can see i have already console that one this is the dif different one okay so here you can see that we have a user id when we try to decode that one so here we are going to use the request dot body dot user user id then we are going to use by find one id so user id if it is not there then the user not found else we are going to remove the sensitive information before sending the response that is the password and returning the user information if something goes wrong it will go to the error fetching the user info and the server error okay and the last export default router okay so this is how and the last one that is index.ts file we already discussed okay so this is how you are going to implement the node.js authentication with postgres equal type orm and the express shares any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day